What's up, peeps? I am back for another video. Today, um, I am reviewing America Pie. I was to do this Friday, but I saw Evil Dead Rise a second time on Friday, and I saw it, like, really late. And by the time I got back, I was... I'm not gonna lie, man. I was too fucking tired to do a video. I was, like... So... I figured we'll just push it to Sunday. So... Um, what kind of prompted this was, I just, uh, a friend of mine, Mara, does, like, streams, talks about, like, a lot of cringe, and one of the cringe was how, like, America Pie was, like, problematic by some shitty fucking Gen Z kids, so I figured, and also, I just kind of wanted to rewatch these movies, too, type of thing, so... Um, why not? And because there's a couple American Pies I've actually not seen. I've not seen the last two movies, American Wedding or um, American Reunion. So I've not seen each scene either. I knew American of, of American Reunion because this is 2012. So I remember a trailer coming out for it, but I never because I didn't know there was a third one at that time. I, I just I just didn't. So those are those two I've not seen. So I'll figure why not review those and. So, and it's just, basically, this movie is just a quintessential coming-of-age comedy. That's all it really is. It's, you know, these four boys, uh, not four, five, sorry. You know, Jim, Oz, or Chris is his name, but he pretty much is called Oz. You have Finch, Stifler, and, you know, and, uh, Kevin, you know, who's like, you know, they all are basically trying to have sex. Well, Ke by side Stifler, he's done it before, but... You know, they, because after one of the, um, another guy who's basically kind of seen as a nerd, you know, says he had sex, um, Sherman, even though it gets exposed later, that he, he got, he was lying. And they all make a pact and to do it before, you know, the end of senior year before they graduate. And that's all this movie is. It's just a bunch of hijinks about five boys trying to have sex. It's nothing crazy. You know, the gags, the I mean, this is where you get the guy, you know, Jace, Jason makes fucking a pie. I mean, one of the funniest scenes. And the dad, Jim's dad, is probably one of the funniest characters in the movie for me. He was, his awkward discussions with his son when he found him out. Yeah, like, it's, um, it's just a coming-of-age comedy. It, you know, I, I prefer to. I still do. But I do, for, I did remember, like, rewatching this. I'm like, God, this was really funny. Like, <clears throat> and it was nothing crazy, you know, not over the top. It was very much just, oh, you know, simple sex jokes, but they managed to make it work. And, and I thought the characters were likable. They, I think what really helps the movie for me was you, these characters feel like real people. They don't feel like just movie characters. You know, yeah, little, some things are exaggerated. I mean, Fuck it, a pie. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know? Or, you know, the whole world seeing a guy, you know, get embarrassed. I mean, it's... I mean, Blink-182 seeing Jim. <laughs> and, like, that's not gonna happen. You know? So it's just... It's a movie. Like, that's all it is. It's... But I really can understand why definitely a lot of people put this as one of their favorite comedies because this definitely is funny. I, I, if you want to show a person a comedy, I feel like this would be one of those you can show. You know, it's basic. It's not over the top. I mean, it is over the top, but in a good way. What I mean is not in like the negative way. Um, you have characters that actually feel like real people, and the raunchy humor works in this movie, and. In general, like, I would say all the characters are likable. Even Siffler. Yeah, he's, you know, you're just your asshole jock, but he still makes it work. And he still, he's, he does it in a way where he is still likable. I mean, and we even got a fucking song out of this movie. Stifler's mom's got it going on. I mean, hey, classic. So I give this one nine. Can't wait to watch American Pie 2 and kind of watch the rest of them. Because, uh. The connection between the friends is kind of, for me, really, it actually, if I just say my biggest positive is that. Like, I really, these guys feel like they 
they've known each other a long time and you feel their camaraderie, even though you just see them as high school, like, wow, you actually feel like they've known each other a long time. So I definitely recommend it if you've not seen it. It's on Peacock or, you know, by physical media. Because, uh, yeah, it's a fun one. And if you're, you're a bitch made, if you think this is problematic, this movie is... It is so, it's not even that, it's not offensive at all. Like, I, I we even see, I can't even say it's offensive. Like, so anyway, um, but yeah, um, then later tonight, like I said, Evil Dead Rise spoiler review. <clears throat> After a second viewing, relatively, I have the same opinion. It, um, I definitely think Evil Dead is a solid horror franchise. Not, I don't think there's a bad one in the bunch, so at least that's good. Um, Evil Dead Rise is definitely at the bottom, and I do want to do a ranking. Okay, I, in my other take when I originally was trying to film this, I said I was going to do something else on Wednesday. I might actually on Wednesday do my updated Evil Dead ranking, and I'm going to include the show um, because... If you think about it, the show is very much tied to Ash, so I almost have to include it. So I'm going to not just do the movies. I'm just going to do Evil Dead, including the show. So just Evil Dead in general. This, I mean, Rise is going to be last, just because, I mean, it just doesn't stack up to the others for me. It's still good. I definitely am keeping it at an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 is your weakest movie, like, or at the, at the bottom is still pretty good, if we're being honest. For the franchise, because I think the reboot, uh, the 2013 one, I'd give like 8.5 close to a 9. That's kind of what I'm thinking, 8.5 to a 9. Then Evil, then Army of Darkness, I would probably give about the same 8.5 out of 10. Um, Evil Dead 2 is a 9.5. Evil Dead 1's a 9 point. About the same, 9.5 out of 10 like that's pretty good so and the show is definitely like a nine so overall i'll talk about that later but uh yeah so american pie is just a classic i i feel like i definitely recommend it it's it's a simple movie the jokes are funny and yeah So we meet our group of friends, and you know, and they're each pondering about having sex, you know, because <coughs> Kevin's in this long time relationship with um, Vicky, played by Tara Reed, who <coughs> oh, I liked her in this movie, you know, <coughs> even though she was just kind of the girlfriend character. That's fine, you know. <coughs> and I thought their scenes together were fine. Um, you have Finch, who wants to, <laughs> he's a, he's basically like the, kind of like the, the sophisticated guy. Oz has this relationship with this college girl, but he ends up fucking it up at the party, who he's the lacrosse player, and then Stifler, who's, uh, <laughs> and, um, I just like their dynamic. Like, you feel like these guys have known each other a long time, like. They, the, the fact that they feel like real people, I think, really helps this movie. That's why I think if that's another, that would be this would be one I would I would hate they would remake because it would just be generic actors now if they would do it today. It would just be generic actors you don't feel like who are real people. That's what made this movie work for me partially was really was the, these feel like real people. Everybody, you know. Like I said, it's an exaggerated version of real people, but it still feel like real people. Um, they go to a party, you know, Oz ends up fucking it up with the college girl because he tries to do these, like, you know, cringe, you know, one-liners, you know, like, this realism, some dudes would try to do that, <laughs> you know? Um, Kevin ends up kind of getting in trouble with his girlfriend because she starts to kind of suspect she just, you know, because she's trying to say I love you and Kevin's kind of dodging it and she feels like she just wants to he just wants to have sex so kind of that trope and uh, you have fucking Jim who ends up fucking up you know embarrassing himself in front of Nadia you know Shannon Elizabeth who 
man, 90s Shannon Elizabeth was something else. Um, uh, so they make the, this, and then they see Sherman. He's like, he's basically a, he's a dork. That's <laughs> what he's seen as. Ends up seeing, you know, kissing this girl the night, the next morning. You know, he claims he had sex with her and um, basically this is where they make their pact that they're going to get laid <laughs> before high school. So what they all, Oz ends up joining the the choirs and he starts um, having the hot, um, actually starts falling in love, actually. I actually thought his um, scenes with Heather were pretty good, you know, cheesy, very cheesy. And I think that's the thing. This movie's cheesy. You just got to kind of go in expecting it. This movie's 90s as fuck. There's a lot of 90s shit in it. Like, because this was this 99. So Jim's trying to get with Nadia. So he he ends up um, getting a, um, a... She ends up asking him to study, you know, to study at his house. Um, and yeah, this is where you get the fuck the fuck. <laughs> The iconic fuck the pie scene was fucking hilarious. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I was dying. I, I forgot how funny this movie was. Like, I, this, I can't understand why this movie hit back in the day, back in 1999. I can definitely understand. It was, this was great. Um, Kevin, you know, slowly is trying to repair his relationship with uh, Vicky. And, um, and I actually thought Vicky's friend, um, Jessica, I thought she was a funny character throughout the film. She had some funny one-liners, you know, and it just shows like you, that you just have fun characters. That's all you need. And just keep it simple. So Jim gets convinced by Siffler and the rest of his friends to, because Nadia is coming over his house and she asks to change, so he asks to record it. Because, you know, because they're going to try to basically convince him to have sex there. So, and this is where we get Nadia, we get Jan Elizabeth tits. And uh, she ends up finding his pornography collections, actually. Starts, <laughs> that's the funny part, man. They didn't hold back back in then. I guess some people found this offensive because oh she wasn't known she was being filmed i'm like literally blink one because they didn't realize the link was to the world it was public not private so like blink 182 the band ended up seeing that i'm like you know that that wouldn't happen right <laughs> like it's it's tiresome anyway and yeah so jim ends because they say jim go back you got to she, she's ready, so he ends up going back, and he ends up uh, basically it prematurely ejaculating, getting embarrassed in front of the world, and Nadia ends up going back home, and now Jim is like kind of the laughing stock of the school. Um, so this is where. Um. Uh, this is where uh, Jim ends up. Because throughout the film, you see this bad girl named Michelle. And this is, she, you know, Allison Hannigan is so great in this. She She's actually really funny. Granted, if you watch her in Buffy, she's pretty funny in that, too. But she, one time at band camp, <laughs> that's totally what this video is going to be titled, too. Um, hold on. I just wanted to make sure it was still filming because I tried to do it or a, a take before this. I literally like filmed a whole. I was the video was done. I like basically I think I even got I got to the end of the movie and then it fucking just. I heard my like my phone notification and I like, realized oh shit it's not fucking recording so I just needed to check really quick. But yeah, I thought she was funny so she ends up he ends up asking her to the dance, and she says yes. Um, Siffler. Because throughout the film, Finch basically pays Jessica, this is because it gets out later, to to basically spread a rumor that he has a big dick, basically. And basically all the girls are like kind of fawning over Finch. And Stifler gets turned down by a chick because he's going with um, Finch. So Stifler basically gives Finch laxatives. And he ends up um, 
taking a shit in the girls' bathroom, and he gets embarrassed. So, kind of the day of the dance comes, and uh, this is where we get the reveal that Sherman actually never had sex. The girl he was talking about basically admitted it was a lie. Um... And Jim at this point just didn't care because he had a he was he was with the girl he didn't actually want to be with. But then um they all still end up going to the party. Uh oh, I skipped a whole thing, sorry. Um Oz ends up because Heather initially um agrees to go to the dance with him. She turns him down after she sees him joking around with his friends. Basically she saw him like because Stifler was doing like a sex thing and basically saw like Oz kind of laughing for a second so like looked like oh she just another you know jock who using a using a girl kind of thing and then he ends up they end up getting partnered for this choir performance but he ends up having to go to the lacrosse game but then he cancels the lacrosse game sorry I'm kind of rushing through that part I just for I like miss this part and you know it was like you know kind of like little pep like high school love you know, he turns down the game. To, he ends up leaving the game, going to the performance. They end up going to the dance. So they end up going to the, to the party. Vicky and Kevin end up having sex. Heather and Oz end up having sex. And Finch ends up hooking up with Stifler's mom. And, yeah, that's where we got the Stifler's song. Stifler's mom got it going on. We got that from this movie. So... Um, Kevin and Vicky end up breaking up because they're going to different high school, which, you know, was kind of sad. You know, you felt bad. Um, the guys kind of ponder about the end of high school and what their next step is. You see um, Kevin talking, not Kevin, Jim talking to Nadia again. So it's almost like implied that they're cool, even after what happened. And basically, we get a kind of a gag with the daddy. Jim's dad. Jim's dad is fucking hilarious throughout the movie. I'm sorry, he was, he was killing me. So, overall, this isn't. This is a classic, man. I I, I forgot how funny this movie was because it has been a little, like at least twelve or thirteen years since I've seen this movie. I think the last time I watched it was like 2010. I, I forgot how funny this movie was. Just the the humor was simple. You had fun characters. You kind of all, you almost wanted them all to kind of get what they wanted. <laughs> like, you wanted them to get theirs, you know? And it's just, it's a funny movie. And the fact that they're fucking weirdos and found it problematic, I, I don't understand. This movie has such basic humor that I don't even see how you can say it's offensive. I just don't see how you, I just think that's a reach. Um... Yeah, it's a fun movie. That's really all I can say. It's not really a lot you can analyze with this movie. It's pretty much, it's a fun comedy. I can really understand why people really like this movie. It's a really good coming-of-age movie. I love the dynamic between the friends throughout the film where they're just all talking and just kind of, they're banter back and forth. It feels real. It doesn't feel forced. That's why I think it was good that this movie kind of came out when it did. Because I think if it came out now, it would just, the, hu the humor would be forced. They would be played by, like I said, generic actors and just it wouldn't it would not hit as hard. So I think that's why this movie works so much better. So yeah, like all around, definitely classic. I definitely recommend. I think this is one of those comedies you can kind of if someone who's not seen a lot of comedies, this is one you can definitely introduce them to. You know, it's simple humor. And yeah, not really not a lot going on. Like it goes quick. You know, it's more of a gag movie than, like, it's about the story, really, you know? Because the story is really simple. These guys just want to have sex and want to do it before prom. You're not prom, before um they graduate. <laughs> That's it, really. There's not, not much else. <laughs> you know, and each of them has their own way of trying to do it. So that's basically it. That's really the movie. So definitely recommend it. So, um, like I said, Evil Dead Rise, spoiler review tonight. I definitely, like I said, I enjoyed it a lot more. Not a lot more. I mean, I enjoyed it pretty much the same because I liked it the first time. I definitely liked it a bit more. I, I like the... I definitely like the Dead Eye design better in this one than the re 2013. This is the one thing I think it beats the 2013 movie one reboot. Was I, th I did not like the Dead Eye design in that movie. At least this one, it looked like... 
the dead eye design in this was like it was newer but it's still at least i'm like okay that looks like a dead eye the other one just looked like a ghoul or like a generic zombie it didn't have anything special about it so at least i thought the dead eye design in this was good um and um the characters were fine for the most part they're serviceable you know they they're not as like they're not great characters. Like I thought, the aunt was good. liked his, I liked her dynamic with the little girl, but the other characters were just kind of there. I think the mom needed a bit more build before she just turned. But anyway, I'll go into that more later tonight in my spoiler discussion. But yeah, overall, it's a good entry. I definitely recommend it. It's even just it's solid horror, which I'm happy to see as a horror fan that we're getting a bit more solid horror these between last year and this year. We're getting some solid horror. Like Pope's Exorcist was pretty good. Saw Nefarious a week ago. About a week ago. Yeah, that was good. So, like, there's been some solid horror lately. So, at, at least I'm happy about that. So, anyway. Um, America Pie is great. America Pie 2 I'll try to do on Friday. Because um, I actually think that one I've always kind of, like, when I was watching these movies, I, I don't know. I liked American Pie 2 a bit more. I don't know, maybe it was just because it was like out of the high school setting, partially. I think that was kind of interesting to see what... And then, then oh, I should have gotten more into I love how we find out that Michelle's a fucking freak in bed. It's fucking great. But anyway, um, classic film. Happy to watch it. I've watched it again. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later tonight for Evil Dead Rise. <laughs> As usual, I'll talk to y'all later. Well, no Biden. Peace.